So the next speaker that I get to introduce is a total badass. That's her identity, boss babe to badass. This is what I love about this business. There are so many. Have a look around how diverse we are. There is no one person. There is no one type. And I love that about this business. Mel Brandt, she is a mum of two gorgeous little girls. And after being one of those people that said no and did not look at the link for a whole year and said, I'm not going to do that thing, she realised that this business was exactly what she had been looking for to finally sink her teeth into so, so she could be the eagle. She always knew she was going to be. Building a social media following, a huge empire online, she now gets to design her life. She is so passionate about inspiring others to find that courageous part in themselves. Please welcome Mel Brandt to the stage. Oh my goodness, it's the afternoon already. I don't know about you guys, but I want more, so um, I'll be here until probably 10 p.m. tonight picking people's brains. But firstly, I want to share a bit of a story today um, with you guys about leadership. Now, who in this room considers themselves a leader already? Put your hand up. Four of you. Okay, great. <laughs> Who's a leader? Come on, guys. You're all in here, right? You're all leaders, every single one of you. Why? Because you're here. Okay, look at all the thousands of people that are in this business. Who's here? You guys. So I want you guys to give yourselves a round of applause because I really commend you on that. So two and a half years ago, I chased success. My mission of inspiring women, especially, to be the best version of themselves, consumed my life. My job was to show up, and I did everywhere, every Zoom call, every phone call, every event, from Sunshine Coast to Gold Coast. That's what my life looked like. Don't get me wrong, you do need to do some of that. I was hungry to learn, I was hungry to earn, and becoming an NMD was all that mattered to me. By becoming an NMD, this meant success, right? Don't get me wrong, I had a booming business. I was able to make an impact a lot larger than I ever imagined in a very short amount of time. I became a recruiting pro. You know all those things that we hear Eric Warre say? I can happily say that I nailed it. And I built my business every week in second. I just want to do a little exercise with you guys. I want you to close your eyes. There's lots of eye closing today. Close your eyes. And I want you to picture the leader, the best leader that you've worked with? How did they act? How did they show up? How did they speak? Now, once you have that person in your mind, you can open your eyes. Now, I'm sure we've all worked with loads of amazing leaders, okay? And I'm sure the person that didn't come into your mind was the one that screamed at you every single day and told you that you were shit, okay? You've all got someone amazing in your mind that you, high, you hold on a really high regard, high regard. Leadership is like parenting. <laughs> You think you know what it's going to be like until you get there. And you're in for a bit of a rude shock. This is where I fell into the headless chicken syndrome. Lots of birds today 
and a couple of chickens. Slowly, I made more time for my business. More three-way calls, more events, more trainings. Mummy just had to do this, right? I steered the ship so well that no one in my team ever had the chance. I was a leader. I was everything for everyone. I made more time for my business. I helped recruit. Holding events at my house and hosting them, of course. Doing more three-way calls, stepping in and leading my entire team. Life was perfect, as it seemed. My business was growing, but I was burning out. Who's ever felt like that? Thanks for your honesty. I wasn't the mother that I wanted to be. I wasn't the partner that I wanted to be. I was disconnected, stressed. When Kira said the noise in your head, oh my goodness, did that resonate? It was like a rock band in there most days. Why was I so unfulfilled? My business was growing. This is what I wanted, right? I had become the person I didn't want to be. Without me steering the ship, I knew that it was going to sink. It was at the hardest time at this stage, the biggest blessing was delivered to me. I could have quit, but I didn't. My business went backwards. It was in this moment, my why got me through. It was time to look in the mirror. How could I do things better? How could I raise up more leaders? How could I allow others to steer the ship? I was always worried about the how. I'm female, right? That's what we do. I took control of all situations, and it was time to let go of the steering wheel and allow others to shine. Let people make mistakes and stop taking responsibility for every single downline franchisee in my organisation. How did I do this? Self-leadership. So D. Hock, who's the founder of Visa, said, if you want to lead, invest 40% of your time into self-leadership. So that's what we did. The cream rose to the top. Where's Celine? I like that line. The cream rose to the top. I found myself working with the workers, the people that had earned my time. By being clear on their goals, I was able to work with them towards their goals, not mine. How could I be more like the leaders that I had been around? Who did I need to become? We are always rebuilding. We're always growing and bettering ourselves. Don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. Comparison is the biggest thief of joy. Be sure you're enabling your team, not disabling them. By creating a business where you raise up leaders and allow other people to shine, you will have built a lasting business of inspired leaders. And this means longevity. In making these changes, looking in the mirror and allowing others to shine, 
I'm now living within my values. I can do business rather than business doing me. <laughs> I can now see the blessings that were put in my path. I can now be present. Everything I needed was already there. I just needed to go within to not go without. Step into your story because a better version of you will appear. A high level of authenticity will lead to a rich life. Act now, overcome fears, have the courage to lead from the front. You would have heard a special lady say, it's not about you, you're not that important. Pride yourself on impacting others adding value, always leading from the front, being the best version of you, because people will follow. When you help everyone get what they want, you will get exactly what you want. Thank you. <laughs>